Hello everyone, my name is Gwen. Welcome to Chocolate Time Recipes and Inspirations. Today we are making a really exciting recipe called Banana Split Trifle. And it is absolutely delicious. It's great for a crowd. It gathers people together with this fantastic dessert. Now I've mentioned that I really think that cooking is about love because when you bring people to a table, it gives them the opportunity to be together. And that's a way of developing relationships and love, which I think is wonderful. While we're talking about gathering people together, we gather them for food and we can also play board games, which is really a nice way of gathering people together. I have a game that my family, my friends, we all love. It's called Mexican Train. It's easy, it's fun, and it just um, is it lively enough and engaging enough that you will have a great time with this game. Everyone gets their own little train and there's dominoes and train tracks. So if you want to have a good time with your friends or your family and gather them together, this is a really good way to do it. Okay, what goes in our recipe? We have three cups of whipped topping. You can use the frozen or you can use the fresh. I whip up the fresh. So we have one and a half there and one and a half there. We chocolate syrup, a third of a cup, and caramel syrup, a third of a cup. We have a four ounce package of instant, make sure it's instant chocolate pudding, a four serving portion of vanilla chocolate pudding, instant. Also, you need to make a cake a yellow box cake. Once again, we're going to make a box cake into a wow cake for sure with this recipe. So um, I made it already and it's cooled and it's cut into one inch squares. You can probably let it cool for an hour. That will work. Two score bars and two thirds of a cup of pecans divide it into two portions. A cup and a half of strawberries, sliced strawberries, divide it in two. And three bananas divided in two. So that's pretty easy. There's a lot goes in here and it's so worth it. It's a very exciting recipe. And my trusty trifle dish that I love. Okay guys, I have this divided up into kind of one inch squares. Some people will just use their hands and we're going to put half of this in the bottom of the pan. So, very easy to do. My recipes for you are always quick and easy so you can be with your family and friends that precious time it's so important, but also you want something really delicious to serve to them. Okay, so I have half my cake in there. Now I am going to put the um, banana pudding, I mean the vanilla pudding in. I don't know if any of you have tried a banana split. But this tastes, it has all the flavors of it. it. It is so good. Like, it is truly decadent, truly wonderful. And what a great thing to share with family or friends. Okay, I have the pudding in. Now I'm going to put half of the bananas in. So I'm just going to... Make sure that they're all spread around on that layer. My strawberries. I'm spreading it around as well. Okay, the fun part. 
Here is our caramel sauce, one third, and this is going to be poured all over. As I say, this is a real sweet treat that tastes amazing. Now, I always love doing this because I do things in a very easy way. I put the pecans, a third of a cup, in. There's two thirds all together, but here's one third. I put it in a plastic bag. I take a rolling pin and I'm just going to I have uh, broken it into pieces this way and I'm spreading it all over. Now I'm doing that with the scores bar. It's in the package. I'm going to pound it with this rolling pin. It's all broken up and I'm going to put it on this dessert mixture. This gorgeous dessert mixture. <laughs> and the whipped cream. The whipped cream is going to seal it in. One and a half on one layer. Okay, so now we're going to do the very same thing all over again. We'll put the cake in. I'm kind of squishing it down so that it all fits. Whoop. Okay, we have the cake in. Now we're putting the chocolate pudding on top. So if you think of a banana split, usually you see, you visualize the vanilla ice cream with the chocolate sauce and then all the nuts and instead of cherries, we use strawberries, which are always sweet and always wonderful. Now the bananas. Strawberries. I'm going to save a few for when we put the whipped cream on top and the nuts. Just Spreading that on top. Package of scores. My husband's family and I, we went on a holiday. There were 35 of them. And they're such a nice family. Everybody's so very good to each other. Wherever we went, we kind of took over the place because there are so many of us. When we were downtown, one of the persons was somebody from the army and he would do a roll call. <laughs> so we didn't lose anybody from the family, which was kind of sweet. I like that. Okay, so we're putting the whipped cream over. Now, guys, I really, you know, I use the whole cake. There's a whole group, a big group of us coming. But 
in order for it to be a little less full, because it's pretty full, it's kind of bursting over the top, you could use two thirds of the cake, a third at the bottom and a third at the top. And that probably would fit in really well, really nicely. So as I say, we have a very, we have a huge trifle for snacking on. So. Okay, now we're going to add some sir uh, chocolate syrup. on top. So this is really chocolatey. And we'll put on the strawberries. So my producer Cameron, what do you think? Is this gigantic or what? <laughs> We made it pretty big. <laughs> this will feed a big Italian family, do you think? I, yeah, I th we're not going to be able to put the lid on, but I think it'll work. Okay, a little less cake and it'll fit in perfectly. Okay, everyone, this is a taste test. Now, I, I'm almost afraid to touch it because I think it's going to explode. This is one of those moments where, you know, families will have you on video. Okay, I managed to do that. It's still in the bowl. And looking really good. Taste test. And it's, it's such a fun dessert. Chocolate, banana, split, trifle, even the name is fun, but the taste is amazing. Yeah. So, thank you for joining me at Chocolate Time. I really enjoy sharing these recipes with you. See you next week. Here's to you.